This is an open letter to the Liberal Party of Australia and the Australian Labor Party. What is the plan? Tomorrow morning, I have to face two young children and explain to them that despite their father being in immigration detention for six years, it is extremely unlikely that they will be reunited as a family anytime soon. These children are in a group home and are at risk of being placed in foster care. They came to Australia to seek asylum and safety and then had acts perpetrated against them in detention that you would not wish on anyone. And so I ask Scott Morrison, Josh Frydenberg, Peter Dutton, David Coleman and Paul Fletcher, what is the plan for the father of these children? What is the plan for the growing group of men and women in onshore detention who cannot be deported? What is the plan for the men and women in detention who have been found to be owed protection obligations by the Australian government and thus cannot be returned to their countries of origin without facing significant harm or death? What is the plan for the men and women who originate from states that the Australian government acknowledges are failed and thus cannot be returned? What is the plan for the men and women who have no identification documents because they never had any and thus no country acknowledges them as their own? There must be a plan for these people. This is not a group of people who may eventually give in to the pressures of Australia's return orientated detention policy. These people have nowhere to go, ever. They are in Australia and we need to acknowledge this fact and deal with it. At the moment, it appears that there is an ad hoc government approach to warehousing these people in Australian detention centres. Warehousing people for five to ten years plus is not a plan. It merely constitutes a significant drain on taxpayer funds. And so, I ask, what is the plan for Saida Mussi? What is the plan for Abdul Rahman Hussein? What is the plan for William Yakrop? What is the plan for Ali El Ghazali? And what is the plan for Jamal Taleb Abdul Hussein? The plan cannot be that failed states and conflict zones such as South Sudan, Sudan and Syria will eventually be safe for these people to return to. The Australian government has no control over the internal workings of these countries. The plan cannot be that another country will take people Australia refuses to. We tried this with Manus Island and Nauru and apart from a slow trickle, exactly the same legacy problem will be left. The plan cannot be that somehow, somewhere, identification documents will be found after decades of searching to confirm a person's identity. So, what is the plan for these people? What do I tell the children tomorrow? And to Labor. I was an intern at Australia's Parliament House when Tampa happened. Labor did not have a robust asylum seeker policy then. Do not make the same mistake now. Get a plan. I have some suggestions.